Hi everyone, this is Adrian at 18 Echo SF. I decided to do a follow-up video to the original um, Kimber guide rod modification video I did about a week and a week and a half ago um, because I wanted to explain what took place with uh, the different springs that I tried originally. Um, when I got the uh, beautiful new GI guide rod from um, uh, Wilson Combat, I also ordered a couple of springs um, that they uh, told me should should work. Um, and you see one right up here at the top that came from Wilson. It's a 20 pound uh, spring and um, I could not get that spring to work. I just couldn't compress it enough um, so that I could get it um, to lock behind the barrel link with the new guide rod. So I uh, took that out and um, I decided to try the stock uh, recoil spring that was in my gun from day one which had about 500 rounds through it and that was this spring right here um, and that worked perfectly however uh, it was so easy to compress to get it in to lock behind the barrel link I was concerned that possibly the gun wouldn't go into battery properly um, while I was using it. Uh, I wanted, but I did go to the range and it absolutely worked perfect. But I was still a little concerned um, about um, using that spring. And since I hadn't changed out my recoil spring at all, I decided to order some new recoil springs from Kimber and uh, change that spring out anyway. And that's the middle spring. Now you can see um, the difference in the length of these springs and let me just see if I can turn this a little bit. So you, these are the two stock Kimber springs. So this was the original spring. This is the new replacement spring and you can see how much that original spring has set. Now I'm not going to take the gun apart at this point. Um, I'm going to leave that for a future um, uh, video, which I'll tell you about in a second, um, because I noticed that after putting the new spring in, um, I could get it into place properly, lock, get it locked behind the barrel link, uh, went to the range, I've shot 200 rounds through it um, with that spring, and it absolutely works beautifully. Um, I have noticed, though, in taking the gun apart to clean it, which I do just almost every single time I go to the range, that um, the spring has definitely loosened up already. And um, so these springs definitely do take a set and need to be changed um, on a regular basis. I think that uh, would be the case for all 1911s for sure, including the 5-inch guns, too. Um, but uh, in particular on the uh, the four inch models because these springs as you can tell um, have uh, compressed about an inch um, over um, you know 500 rounds so I just wanted to um, kind of make a this short video to show you the difference in these springs and here I'll turn that Wilson combat spring around so you can get an idea of the difference in length between the original and the Wilson and why I could not get it compressed. It was an inch and three quarters longer than normal and there was just no way that um, I could get it to compress that much. Um, I'm going to keep those springs around though. Um, I can never tell. I can use them for other guns. Um, I just ordered um, something I've been wanting to get for a very very long time. Uh, kind of the culmination of my uh, journey with 1911s even though I have a military background with 1911s, uh, the five inch guns, of course. Um, I love, as I mentioned before, four inch models. And um, for the longest time, I've considered buying a Colt Combat Commander, which I just ordered yesterday. Uh, it's going to probably take me, anyway, four to six months to get it due to, you know, the back order backlog at Colt. Uh, but I don't really care. That order is going to stay in place until my gun arrives. Um, you know, my Kimber uh, Pro Carry is an alloy frame, um, but I've decided that um, I, I want to have uh, for my um, uh, home defense weapon an all steel uh, gun, which the Combat Commander is. And of course, the Combat Commander is what gave me the idea to do this with my Kimber, having the GI style guide rod. Uh, with uh, just a, a, a 
spring and in the Kimber's case using a reverse guide rod plug which will not be the case with the uh, Colt um, Combat Commander. Uh, that gun uses a, a standard barrel, not a bull barrel, and a um, barrel bushing, a normal 1911 barrel bushing. So um, I'm looking forward to uh, working with that gun when I get it. Um, so I just want again, just wanted to make a short video, a little five, six minute video and explain this spring length. So uh, just in case I've confused anyone, uh, what is in this gun right now is the a brand new uh, Kimber replacement uh, spring, a 22 pound replacement spring direct from Kimber. They come three to a package and very inexpensive. The uh, stock reverse guide rod plug and the Wilson Combat stainless GI guide rod. And everything just works beautifully. I am extremely happy with how everything turned out. And it just makes it uh, so much easier to break the gun down um, no matter where I am. Um, if I want to take it apart to clean it and lubricate it, um, even if I'm uh, not around my home, uh, even at the range. It's easy to do and I don't have to carry that little L tool with me all the time. And since uh, it uh, works uh, flawlessly and shoots just beautifully, um, I think that this was a, a definite, definitely a good change. So uh, if any of you have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave them and I'll uh, surely respond if it's a, a private message. So stay well and safe out there and I'll see you down the road.